Hi everyone, welcome to Shigo's YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you how to filter CSV to another spreadsheet with Shigo. When moving information from one database to another, CSV files provide a smooth way to move data without reformatting. But when you want to actually read that data or combine and process information for reporting and analysis, it's better to extract that data from CSV into another spreadsheet. Using Shigo, you can transfer specific data from a CSV file to Excel or Google Sheets without having the knowledge of advanced formulas or coding. The original CSV files remains intact and your selected data will flow into the other spreadsheet automatically without copy pasting. Any update to the CSV will automatically update the spreadsheet as well. Now let me show you how exactly. The first thing we need to do is sign up for Shigo. I will put the link in the video description below and it will take you to this screen in the Shigo web application where you can sign in with your Google, Microsoft or Dropbox account. Let me quickly sign in with Microsoft. That's it, we're in our Shigo workspace where you have all of your workflows listed and you can start a new one right here, so let's do so. The explore page gives you the opportunities to scroll down some of our features and solutions, but we can also simply just start from scratch directly here by clicking create connection. Shigo automatically creates an untitled workflow which we can later rename. And the first connection we're going to create inside this workflow is from CSV into another file. I can rename that connection right here, for example, filter CSV. The first thing we need to do is select our source file. This is in our case, our single file, our single CSV located in OneDrive. So let's search for it. I've exported my subscription data from all of my customers. Right here, you see the CSV file. I'm going to select it and press done. Now Shigo has selected this file as its source and we're going to move on to the next step. Here we want to filter the data of it. You can directly send the CSV to another file, but I want to filter this CSV based on some values. With CSV, we can only filter with conditions, so we're going to do just that. There we go. Shigo has loaded the columns. By default, data matches multiple conditions is on, but you can select or as well. In our case, we're just going to set one condition, so it doesn't really matter. And I want to base my filter on column G, subscription type. The criteria should be that the text contains or is exactly monthly because I want to send this data to my sales rep spreadsheet to go after the monthlies and convert them to yearly subscribers. Press done. You can add another condition, but as I said before, I just want to do one. I'm going to click on next. The next step, I want to send this to my sales rep spreadsheet. So I'm going to click single file right here. And here in the destination tab, you can change your destination folder to Google Drive or Dropbox, for example. But I'm fine with making an Excel file inside my SharePoint folder. It can be an already existing file of your sales rep, but you can let Shigo create a new one, which I'm going to do right now. Let's call it monthly subscribers, for example. You can give the file tab a name as well. For example, where it comes from, CSV monthly. That's it. We're going to click finish and save to create this filter CSV connection. There we go. Shigo has brought the data from our CSV files into my sales reps monthly subscribers spreadsheet and filtered only for the monthlies. Of course, let me show you in the result. There we go. Shigo has created the new tab CSV monthly in our Excel file. And here you see that he only brought in the subscribers that have a monthly subscription for your sales rep to tackle, of course. Let me go back into the Shigo workflow and here we can go to workflow overview on the left side of our screen where you can give your workflow a new name. Let's call it campaign monthlies, for example. Here you see who is the owner and who has access of the workflow and its files and of course share it with your team members, with your sales reps and anyone responsible. Choose whether or not they should have edit access to the files inside the workflow and simply click done. You see how many files and connections there are in this workflow, two files with a single connection between them. And of course, the last time that this workflow ran, you can click manually on run to update the data transfer between the CSV and the Excel file. But of course, maybe you want your sales rep to go after these monthlies on a monthly basis. Then you can schedule automatic updates to run, for example, once a month on day one between noon and 1 p.m. or a bit earlier in the day. 
so your sales rep has updated information about your subscribers on a monthly basis. Click save to do so. And now your automatic updates are set to run. That's it. That's how you filter CSV to another spreadsheet with Chigo. If you have any questions about this, do not hesitate to comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Chigo automation and how-tos. Thank you very much.